Hey, hey, what's going on, Fight Fans? It's Sean with Boxing Social and Other Sports. Giving you a quick update. We just got done watching Gilberto Ramirez beat up Habib Ahmed. What can we say? We expected this to happen. You know, Lou DeBell and them try to bring a, a fighter from over from Ghana that has an undefeated record. And I understand that, logic. You want to grab an undefeated guy that's never been tested. And... What you do, you throw him in the ring against a world champion like that, and and you do that in hopes to build up for, um, like pay per view fights. So you know you want your guy to really look good and look like a knockout artist in the ring, and, and that's just part of the strategy of boxing. Um, you know, hopefully we might see him face off against the winner of uh, uh, Gabriel versus Benavides, the the rematch that they're gonna face. So that'll be an interesting matchup. But anyway, the way the fight went, um, he was in control the whole time. Um, each round, he was just picking up the pace up, down, down, up, up, down, left, right. Hit him with everything. And and, and <sighs> poor old man, man. He, he tried, man, but he was just overmatched. And then the sixth round, I got so bad in the sixth round that uh, you know, we we're looking for the referee to jump in. The ref wasn't the ref was just gonna let him get knocked out cold. And it was getting so bad that the uh, the corner man, uh, Ahmed's corner man, had to jump in and just throw in the towel and said, "Please stop this fight. This is this is a blowout." Um, congratulations on a win. He moves to thirty-seven and zero, twenty-five knockouts. And you know, let's see what's next for Gilberto. He is definitely one of the toughest, strongest Mexican fighters at one hundred sixty pounds. Not even Mexican, but any fighter. So I do see him controlling the super middleweight division for a little bit. Um, y'all leave y'all thoughts. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, Jesse Hartz wants that rematch. I don't know if he'll get it. Um, Jesse's still ranked number one. He might get the rematch. Who knows? But anyway, I want y'all leave y'all thoughts, comments below. What did y'all think about the fight? Is he the real deal? Can he be a pound-for-pound -pound fighter? Do you see anybody stopping him at 168 pounds? Does he need to move to 175 to really find some really strong, good competition? I don't know. Y'all leave your thoughts, comments below, and then make sure you hit that notification button. Till next time, we're signing out.